It does not have widespread cases of voter fraud, but there is a bill in the legislature that's designed to prevent it from ever happening in the future. One particular bill would criminalize assistance that anyone gets on their absentee ballots. It made it out of a Senate committee with some significant changes, but voting advocates and Democrats say they're still not satisfied. Republicans say it's all about protecting the election process. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis joining us live with more on this. And Aaron, you spoke with the bill's sponsor for the first time about these changes to the legislation. Tell us more. I did, Mark. And Representative Jamie Kill says he wants to keep election integrity intact in Alabama. And he says his bill will do that by limiting the amount of people who have access to someone's absentee voter ballot. He says he also listened to the public during that hearing and feels like these changes to the bill are a compromise heard from people who were disabled and blind and so we want to make sure that we didn't do anything to hinder their um, their their uh, th them in the process of voting changes to representative Jamie kills bill include allowing someone who is blind disabled or unable to read or write to receive help on their absentee ballot from anyone honesty Steele, a blind student at the University of Alabama told lawmakers her family is out of state according to the bill there are individuals that can help us but the problem with this is the fact that these are strangers. Um, personally, I'm not comfortable receiving assistance from these individuals. If someone is not disabled, the only allowed help is from a family member or election official. And the people that we listed are people that should be trusted. The new version of the bill also removes the word distributing from the prohibited actions related to absentee ballots. Grassroots voting organizations will still be able to hand out absentee ballots. Instead, ordering, requesting, collecting, or pre-filling someone's ballot is a misdemeanor, but someone could be charged with a felony if money is involved. Because the voting process is very important. I mean, we take it very seriously at Alabama how we vote and who votes. We found out from this voter reform, voter fraud reform task force is that we do not have these overwhelming cases of voter fraud in the state of Alabama. And as the bill now moves to the Senate floor, opponents still question the purpose of this bill, and they also say that the changes still make it harder to vote. Mark and Val. Aaron Davis, thank you for that update. We appreciate it. If that bill does pass the Senate, it will have to go back to the House for approval as a result of those changes.